class this channel that you are watching now as a type of scientific art channel. I bring you the amazing world of marine creatures through art in some of these videos. We are blessed with the fact that marine creatures can be unbelievably gorgeous with great coloration, crazy colours, with um, really complex and detailed structures that make them what they are, means that they can survive as they survive and that just comes out through art and blows my mind and hopefully yours. But I think we need to shift this around a bit. We have brought the beauty of nature through art to you through the screens but today's video I want to bring the beauty of human art to nature. Now what does that mean? What am I talking about? Well we have great pieces of art. I am a great art lover and I have loved studying and viewing and going to galleries and seeing all of the wonderful pieces of work that painters um, have created throughout human history and I think that the marine world will appreciate a bit of uh, a bit of art. So I'm going to be focusing today's one of some famous art pieces but we're going to be giving them a bit of a twist. I don't think potentially that a snail knows very much about the human world so we've got to make it relatable for them. I will be taking famous works of art, reworking them into a marine setting and then we will be opening up our own miniature art gallery on the rocky shore. And yes, it might just be, oh. and yes, it it might just be an excuse to use these teeny weeny baby canvases because they're so cute. But also, I, I, I want to open up an art gallery on, on the rocky shore. So that's what we'll be doing today. And uh, I am going to have some fun and hopefully you will too. Mm. So what famous artworks will we be reworking today? And also apologies to all famous artists. Um, I'll try not to mess up it too much. So we will be reworking Van Gogh's Starry Night. Except uh, I don't think it's going to be uh, stars in the sky, but we're going to put in some cool little starfish and make it a bit more of an ocean scene but I'm definitely really excited to, to try out this style. We're not going to pick a specific picture for this artist, but this artist is one of my favourites. So we are going to be doing a Picasso-esque type uh, painting, which I am super looking forward to. I'm going to do it with a crab because it's a very geometric shaped animal anyway, and a lot of his paintings are geometric, and we're just going to have some fun with that. Um, the next one, kind of, as I was scrolling through um, a lot of artwork and paintings to look at, this kind of stood out and is one of the paintings that I've always kind of loved anyway. It's The Son of Man by René Magritte. I think that's how you say his name, the last one, anyway. Only because, having looking at it now from when I studied this artist back in A-levels, which is years ago, this scene behind him kind of reminds me now of the view I look out when I go to Arbroath of basically a seawall and the sea. So I'm going to rework the background a bit and I'm going to put in Arbroath cliffs and some rocky shore and make the tide be out because it's very appropriate. And I'm going to swap myself for the suited character, my usual rock crawling gear, and I'm going to try and uh, put a barnacle instead of an apple because, you know, Let's rework this to be a miniature picture of how I'm feeling when I go rock pulling now. Um, so it might not end up looking like his stuff, but it's inspired by it. So uh, hopefully the rock pulling creatures will like that. And then one, um, and the last one will be Monet's uh, lily ponds. He did hundreds and hundreds of pictures of the lily pond in, in his garden. And I just think that looking at all of these pictures, they really do look like um, a scene you could paint off the top of a rock ball. 
So kind of reworking the style to paint what I'm looking at as I stand above a rock pool I think would be a really cool um, experience. So I'm going to get on with painting these canvases and then we are going to go on a little road trip to the rocky shore. We're going to put them up on our mini easels and we are going to let the rock pooling creatures take in um, and view our mini art gallery and then we're going to ask them and see what they think. So let's get painting. <laughs> So I'm swapping out the hills in this classic painting for of course the rocks of the rocky shore and the brown fiery thing is going to be a, a fucus shaped brown mass. Of course we've got our wonderful, wonderful starfish. I did start to realise as I painted this that painting such a intricate and detailed painting where the brush strokes are what counts on such a tiny, tiny canvas was definitely difficult but did manage to squidge some barnacles in here so I'm pretty pleased. I just had the most excellent fun with this mini canvas and it completely speaks for itself so I am just gonna let you watch and listen to the funky music. eternally struggle with drawing people so the fact that this kind of even halfly resembles a human uh, in the pencil drawing I was uh, quite chuffed with. Mm -hmm. 
what I really struggled with in this is that the painting is so delicate and detailed and everything is so smooth that that is so far from my style that and I was doing it on a mini canvas with acrylics um, it was just very difficult to kind of get all those smooth tones in but um, I kind of hope that I at least tried to get uh, that kind of uh, atmospheric vibe going as well I of course have my little red camera but mainly because I didn't want to draw a hand and uh, I still think this is a really cool kind of thing to do because the guy in the picture has a hat and I always wear caps and there's an apple which I will just replace with a barnacle and I'm wearing like my suit but you know my uniform is is waterproof and I just think it's uh, a really cool uh, image. Not gonna lie, didn't know what I was doing with this one, just kind of went for it. Um, around Arbroath and everything they have purple sandstone, so the purple was supposed to be the rock, the yellow was supposed to be the sand in between the rocks and obviously the blue being the water in between them was what I was going for. Then this is Ulva intestinalis, a seaweed which reflects the willow in the actual picture and some reflecting kind of things. And then I kind of thought that it was missing something. So instead of lily pads, I put in the shells and tiny eeny weeny claws and legs of some hermit crabs. Um, yeah, again, with the style, very impressionistic. Well, I have had an absolutely magnificent few hours painting these little guys, they're so cute, they're so tiny. But I didn't just do it for me, I also did it for the creatures of the rocky shore. So let's head there now and see what they think. Our mini art gallery open and ready for the public let's see what they think so mrs little Anna, do you really like the painting oh yes i really like the painting i think it's wonderful it's so nice for a local art gallery to open up here you always hear about them in faraway places but one right on our doorstep is so great so what do you think of the hermit crabs rather than the classic lily pads? I think it's great, but you might want to turn that painting back round. You've got it the wrong way. Oh. Um, I'm not too fast, really. Uh, I'd, I'd rather just go, go to sleep, please. So what do you take away from this painting? I just love that barnacles are getting more attention. They totally need some more attention and to see them right literally at the face of this painting is absolutely amazing. I wouldn't lie, I'd like to see an enemy in it, but I suppose that's just bias really and art can't please everyone. Yeah, um, it's okay. I'm a bit confused by it. I'll think about it. What do you think of this Picasso styled painting of a crab? It's a bit flat for my liking. Ha! It makes me think that that crab's gonna get eaten in 10 seconds. See, you gotta be safe on the rocky shore. You gotta tuck yourself away and hide away, just like me. How do you think they're gonna blend in with a purple shell, bright blue legs, red eyes and green claws, honestly? Well, it seems like, although not everyone's a fan, most people are. So I think it's a success. I'm glad that I could provide some artistic experiences for our Rocky Shore friends. But there is one thing I would like to do before it goes. I would like to see my artwork 
from their perspective. Time to work a little bit of magic. Ha ha, I'm small again, ready to see my giant pieces of work. Oh, so imposing. How magnificent. Ah, oh, look at this. Upside down, yet again. Um, it's as if the painter wasn't paying attention. Whoops. Very busy, very colourful. I, I like the attempt. Wow, the uh, person in this picture is just perfect. Sheer perfection. Mm.